Nothing says nature like, like a road and an airplane and a sunset. Of course, it's fitting that this is my first night using this tent and we not hiked and now I get to set it up for the first time in the dark. But the good thing is pretty familiar with Big Agnes from the Fly Creek 2 that I used on the Appalachian Trail. Now this is a Cuban fiber tent. Well, it's a blend, but there is a Cuban fiber floor anyway. So typically you wouldn't think that you would need a footprint for it, but because this Cuban fiber or Dyneema is just so thin, they recommend to extend the life of the tent that you uh, use the footprint. So I do have one, but for such an expensive tent, you would think that they might could sell you the footprint with it. This honestly feels like saran wrap. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Looks like something my mom would wrap me a sandwich up in. It does. First thoughts. It appears that even though they suggest that you have a ground cloth, you don't necessarily have to have the one made for this tent. You could set it up without a ground cloth, I suppose, but you could use a piece of uh, Tyvek or something else, another lightweight alternative. Uh, but so it looks like this just kind of doubles or duplicates what's under it. Okay, nice little bathtub floor. I don't miss this part. Okay, this is the really stressful part where you gotta bend the poles and hope they don't snap. Didn't snap it this time. Got my saran wrap vestibule. I joke, but this is actually pretty cool. Get a little breeze stay up here. I did it. <laughs> I think that uh, it's a little off though. I think these reinforced well I know these reinforced areas are designed to cover some of this these attachments where they would rub they just don't quite line up and that might be user error but I assure you that I tried the two things that I can say so far is that one this one is obviously more lightweight than the big Agnes ultralight fly creek two-person tent that I used on the AT. And also, I'm really glad that I don't have to climb into it like it's a dog kennel anymore because it's got two vestibules. So you got more room for activities on your own side. because something was suspicious about him, I watched her stick a box of medicine in her coat. Are they being detained right now or are they just losing No, the they're just walking around. I'm not confronting three people together. We need to try to catch them. So. Pull them out. Can you pull them out? Huh? Can you pull them out to me? The guy's wearing a blue jumpsuit. There's a guy with a backpack with a mask on his face and then the girl's with the guy in the blue jumpsuit. What's going on, brother? Yep. Hey, how y'all doing? Fine. I need everybody to put their hands on this, on this right here. I don't need, I don't need no flack, okay? Okay. Just put your stuff right there. You with them? You with them? Yeah. <clears throat> Does anybody have any weapons or anything I need to know about on them? 
Do you got anything on you? Oh, they got you on camera putting something in your pants? It's this. This fell out of my pants leg and I picked it back up. I, no, ma'am, you did what, not. Well, well, hang on. Hang on. I will whatever, I'll take my clothes off right have. here. I have nothing on me. Okay. I mean, I will gladly take... I have a box of medicine right here, but my That's cell phone... That's what you stick. My cell, no, I didn't That's put what you stuck in your pants. I didn't put it in my pants. Empty, empty your pocket. My cell phone fell out my pants leg, and I put it back in my pocket. I have nothing That's in my pants. That's laughed. Watch the camera, she laughed. Yeah, I laughed, and I, and I showed him because it fell out the bottom of my pants. That's really not necessary. Okay, well, then what is necessary? Because I'm not trying to steal anything here. Okay, I'll be fine. You got anything on you, man? No, man. Y'all ain't gonna try to fight with me, are you? No. You got anything on you I need to know about? Either one of y'all get anything? No, sir. Uh, we're not stealing anything. I, I mean, we're here to buy stuff. I'm, I'm I'll take it out. Like, I'm not if you don't care, just lay it right there. Where'd y'all come off the pin hoodie yet? You watch the video. Uh, I'm about Mac, to. Mac, whatever. I, I put my cell phone in my pocket right here because it fell out the leg of my pants. They're from Alabama, from Utah. What'd y'all do? Hook up on the trail or what? Yeah. Did you say you had a knife on you and need to worry about? Same neck knife. Did y'all need to take it off? Please. How long y'all been on the trail? We've been so, on and so off. Chicago, we're doing the whole thing. We're through like since November. And videoing it. <laughs> that sounds like a long time. <clears throat> Let's step over here. That way they can resume business. If it is what it is, we'll be done, okay? We did have a call on y'all about you putting something in your pants. Okay. You're all the way down here from Utah? Uh, yeah. Have you been hiking the trail since? I've been since sometime in December, early December. Early December. Even in this weather as cold as it's been? Yeah. Wow. You just gotta have the right gear. It's all good. That's impressive. The customer that seen her adjusting her pants and sticking the stuff down her pants, she, she came up and told us. As she walks off camera, she puts it in her pocket. And then that's when she was fixing her pants, the customer said. Where's the customer at? She is... Uh, she she can't, She was walking this way when they were coming down this way, so she wants to the front. She's a... I don't remember her name, but she's a regular. Okay. I got allergy medicine. And I was purchasing everything else, and allergy medicine is up there on the counter, too. You know, so it's like, I don't understand. I understand why somebody thought, okay, she might have put something in your pants, but to say, I saw you put medicine in your pants, you didn't, because that didn't happen. The only thing the video showed was you coming down the medicine aisle. It looked like you may have done this, and then you went off camera. Oh. Based on that, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. Thank you. Right. I Y'all have y'all have a good day. I'm Thank sorry you. for any. Thank you. We're leapfrogging vehicles, so we've got another one at the what is that barbecue place? So we've got one vehicle parked there, one here, and so we gotta go get that one and move it ahead. But we just wanted to get like some hand warmers and allergy medicine and some snacks to get back on trail. We just met him a few days ago, bless his heart for having us. And unfortunately for him, we're like, hey, do you want to go to town and resupply yeah, some stuff? We're Are just you kidding? This is like exciting to me. I know, I'm glad it is didn't I mean, you. obviously, because I know you didn't do anything. Yeah. So like, it's just exciting. Well, I strive to be fair. And like I said, you know, the video from what I saw, I, thought, I actually thought it was a prank when you came in. I you're did like, too. Put your hands on the I, that's, like, I was, that's why I was laughing and smiling. I kind of laughed too, and you're like, like, are you like, are you like you're I'm going to need y'all. And I was like, this so I thought somebody too. would. Y'all have a YouTube channel or anything? Yes. <laughs> um, I'm sure they'll bash the police in general. Little, no, you didn't. You no, you didn't. Ugly you didn't like rough us up Homemade Wanderlust is the name of the channel, but that's 
Hello there. I have seen your channel. Have you? Yeah. yeah. Well, this is Dixie. No, that's me. Who just got accused of stealing <laughs> yeah, a I bottle did. of medicine. Of, uh, I didn't sinus steal bills. medicine. Yeah. I didn't. I've never stolen anything in my life. Well, yeah, except a magnet uh, in preschool, and I You got to keep in mind, you had somebody that's not even here now. I'm, yeah. Who's not even here? Well, and she just thought tell that, them yeah. that they thought you put something in there. Yeah. It's nice to meet y'all. Nice to meet you. Thank you. One more thing. Alright, Colin, for backup. <laughs> we go into the Dollar General, and Tim Pyre had his pack on, which doesn't look like a hiker's pack. He just didn't feel comfortable leaving in the bed of the truck. I've got a habit, a bad one, of shoving my phone in the waistband of my yoga pants while I'm hiking. Because right now I'm hiking in this wool shirt, so I don't have pockets on it to put my phone in. Anyway, I had it there. Uh, I guess when we went in the store, I shoved it in the waistband of my rain pants instead of my yoga pants. Well, I just grabbed some allergy pills off of the shelf because my eyes puff up for some reason while I'm backpacking when I camp. Didn't have any needed more. Anyway, I had several items in my hand that I needed from the Dollar General and I feel my phone fall down the pants leg of my rain pants. And as we're rounding the corner of the medicine aisle, I said, hey, Marty, and I was laughing and I shook my leg and my phone comes out my ankle. And I guess after I picked my phone up and again, I had all these things in my hands and I put my phone back in my waistband, this time in my yoga pants where they wouldn't slide down. <laughs> um, another customer, thought I was shoplifting or attempting to shoplift some medication. So I proceed to say, well, you tell me where it is then. And I start pulling my clothes off. And y'all, I swear it got down to my yoga pants and my sports bra. But as I got my uh, rain pants pulled down, the officer was like, ma'am, ma'am, that's not necessary. And I'm like, well, what is necessary then? Because I'm being accused of something that I would never do. And you know, anyway. In hindsight, the only other thing that the security camera might have shown me putting in my pants or in the pocket of my coat was my black gloves that I had on when we came in the store. But the medicine bottle stayed in my hand from the time I pulled it off of the shelf until the officer asked me to place it on the counter at the register. I even told the officer the only thing I've ever stolen in my life was a magnet from preschool and I just liked the way it looked and I wanted it so I took it home where it plagued me for years on our refrigerator because every day that I looked at it I felt guilt and I still feel guilty about it so I certainly uh, wouldn't be going to jail for a bottle of Claritin. All's well that ends well and I'm back on trail and not in jail although I have a feeling that jail would have been warmer tonight but I guess the moral of the story, for me anyway, is going forward, I'm not gonna hang out with shady looking characters like Marty. I'm just kidding. Is this the meth? Is this the meth making campsite? We did read in the gut hook comment where on this little there's gravel some road somewhere there's a meth lab type thing, but no CDs in here, man, Monopoly. I like have nothing in the front. And then I take the water bottles off. Yeah, you can't tell. This is like in preschool when besties swap shoes for a day. Well, we've all played uh, hot potato with our packs. And there's mine up there. It's weird watching your pack go down the trail. It's kind of like watching somebody else drive your truck. <laughs> Marty's got empires on, which is easily the lightest of all of them, as you can tell. And then I got the Z pack on. When I first started, like making the backpack it seemed impossible. And now I'm there. I want, I want all ten buyer originals. That's awesome. I don't know how long it'll take me. I don't know, but it looks it looks like it. Not sure if this is a poison ivy vine or not. It looks rather deceased anyway, but totally just caught my ankle right here on that vine across the trail and about busted it. So. I guess if it is, we'll find out if I'm uh, reactive to poison ivy because I've never had that happen that I know of. So we'll see.
That is a tooth. I mean, I mean, really, the options are get off trail or not. Yeah. It seems like a awful idea to continue with such an exposed. What tooth is it? I'm sorry. Is it the front tooth? Front left. Top. Yeah. I mean, I, I, yeah. Like, like this is the exact time that I would accidentally fall and hit something. Oh, yeah, that's. And that would be. Like, it just seems risky. But I, I'm thinking about it, but I. It, it just seems like an awful idea. Yeah, I can see the condensation glistening on the inside of this. Which again, I know we're camped near water, but yeah, this is um, this is like beat it up. I'm just I'm really surprised for double wall tent. Who's excited about maybe being bitten by a dog today? I mean, <laughs> how, how aggressive it is actually. Yeah. Look at that one hopping. So these are the dogs that we've been hearing all about. This is good. That's a grizzly dog. So that was the bad. <laughs> That's, bad his That's the bad dog. ones. For about three years, I just traveled around, stayed with different people that I met. Ten or twelve of them was enough to take down a grown man and chop him up in little pieces. Three, four. I don't know if they got. Do they have weapons? You know, that's that's. Eight year old. If anyone punches you in, directly in the throat, yeah. Yeah. an eight year old throwing a brick is a dangerous. Yeah. That's right. And so the two that I think are the strongest. Yeah, I'm, you could knock them out. Sometimes I walk in and people are like, yeah. Who's this skinhead dude? Right, right. <laughs> I, and I was kind of surprised yesterday because usually I get that. Yeah. You're a completely I just different a little look. A little more sketchy than yeah. you did. like that I would turn around and go the other way <laughs> yeah how's it feel Pretty cold. good on sore feet that may be the, that may be the coldest my feet have ever been Yay, what a pretty song. I want to talk about this 
big Agnes Tiger Wall Corbin two-person tent that I have been toting. So far, it seems like a decent tent, what you would expect out of a two-person backpacking tent, all your typical bells and whistles uh, for it being the most expensive two-person backpacking tent that REI carries for the purpose of backpacking. I think it's the most expensive one and it seemed like why not just test something on the more absurd side of things but I mean also it is an extremely lightweight freestanding well semi freestanding tent with Cuban fiber and I mean none of the big manufacturers that I know of that REI sells has done anything like that. The Cuban fiber is just so much thinner than the Cuban fiber, or excuse me, Dyneema, used on my Z-Pax tent that it, it has a good bit of a different feel to it. In the time that I've had it, I haven't noticed any damage or holes. It wasn't until I started carrying it that I read Andrew Skirka's review about the exact tent that I was using and how his failed after using it on the 22nd night. Now, they do say when you purchase this tent that you have to take extreme caution on where you're setting up, uh, what you're, you know, putting your tent on, whether it's getting abrasion on it while you're carrying it, etc. Just you have to pay attention to all of that. And there are some points where there are edges from the poles and things like that when I was setting it up that I see that they tried to reinforce it, but when I set it up, it was never right on it. So I don't know if I just set it up a little wonky, but every site is different. And although I know it is comforting to some people to have a freestanding or a semi freestanding shelter, it with the press and all, I just feel like that reinforcement should line up a little bit better or be designed differently. Even though it's very lightweight, it's not worth all that fussing to me. But again, with all pieces of gear, there are pros and cons to everything. So there is a market for this, especially if you're gonna maybe not be doing a through hike. But shorter hikes on a well-beaten path that has very established tenting sites, then it could work for you. But as far as what I'm doing, I do kind of wish that I was testing this for a longer period of time to see if that was a fluke or if, you know, that's just kind of the life of these things, especially when you have it in more of a rough situation, if you will, or you're getting to camp so late that you're just tired or whatever. So when I get to the truck, I'm gonna swap this out for my hammock and then I'm ready to knock the rest of this trail out.